What we have here is a wide brace big twin Springer front fender. The 45 fenders had a different brace. The top of the fender was different. This is an original fender. It does need a little bit of work. It's a little wrinkle here and there. Some of the braces on the, the rivets on the brace are old and wore out. These have been replaced with screws. It does have some very cool accessory trim. This is an accessory lattice bumper for a Springer fender. These are accessory rails. Buco hardly made these things. It has the base plate for the running light. This is your bottom mount for the horn. These little repair over here. Again, these were riveted. These are replaced with screws. These rivets are out here. It's a little rusty on the inside, but overall it's pretty good shape. Most of it's not rotted through. There's a couple little places. But overall it's in good shape. This is a real fender. This is not a reproduction fender. It was sold to me originally as original paint back when my eyes were uh, not LASIK and I couldn't tell that it had been sanded and repainted. But it is a old paint. I don't know from when. It's very old paint. Could have been you know, 1950, could have been 1970. There's no one to know. Has a little bit of wrinkle back here. Both sides have a little wrinkle on it. So this is a real fender. It is not a reproduction fender. You know, it's an old paint restoration. This is perfect for that. It has some trim holes. Somebody had some various trim around it. It had the side rail trims on it at one time. That's what's left a little mud flap. Now this fender, this wide brace fender, came out in late 45. The Warrior fenders had a little bit thinner brace. By late 45, they were starting to make them. I don't know how many were actually put on in 45. Very low production in 45. Starting in 46, they started showing up on the civilian bikes, these wide brace fenders. All the way through the production year of 47, Harley sometimes ran out of these braces and used the thin braces on their fenders. Who, how, or why, or how many were both, nobody knows. None of that stuff was written down. So if you have a 46 or 47 with a thin brace, that's perfectly fine. But a 48 has to have a wide brace. If you had a 49 Springer, they did offer a Panhead Springer in 49. Had to have the wide brace. The big twin flatheads were made through 48. So again, a 48 bike, whether it's a panhead or a big twin flathead, has to have a wide brace. This fender is correct for any of those years. It's a very nice fender for what it is. It's not mint, it's just a nice fender. It is real, it's going to go on eBay here. That's why I'm making this video. You're welcome to make an offer. So I'm going to start the bidding at 1100 plus shipping. That's what I paid for the fender was $1,100. I've heard tell that these here can bring up to 700 bucks by themselves. Just this little piece here. That's what I've heard. I've never personally seen it. I've never seen them for sale before. For any amount of money. These are kind of rare. Most of them are for the wide glides. This is a Springer lattice bump. So anyhow, there you have it. I'm going to put some of my sheet metal up on eBay and we're going to make videos so anybody's watching the tube has a chance at it as well. Again, my cost on this here is 1100 You're welcome to make an offer. I'm not going to sell it for less. I'm going to sell it for more. I won't sell it. So make me an offer. If it's fair, it's all you. So we'll see you on the next video.